Waste your thing. Hello everyone, welcome to PPTQ. Oh. Welcome back to PPTQ Dublin here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts. I'm joined by Ryan Lowe. What's up, what's up? And Kaz and... What up? By popular demand. Yeah, by popular demand. Kimberly. Kimberly, hey you have been... It's yeah. a scam in Stungway, I know. I know, I know but you know. Damn, <laughs> yes, you guys are bad people. Yeah, we said... So, so to convince Kaz to come into the booth, we told him, hey, a girl was requesting for you. I said, yeah, 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 okay, Ken. I heard the name and I knew it was a scam. Damn. I knew, man. That's <laughs> a bad thing. Don't bluff, la. you dropped. Bluff. You, yeah, you couldn't you knew, take the yeah. drop. Drop blocks fast enough, no? Yeah, exactly. It's like, man. Oh, what really? Oh, what really? Of course, oh, man. I'll be really? happy for our stream if there's some, <laughs> and our community if there's some female gamers involved. Uh, hey, what are you talking be. about? We did have a female yeah, gamer have, today. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's not doing too well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think she's at 2 3 right now. Winning uh, going uh, to the last round. Yeah. Uh, and now we are on round six, the last round of Swiss. Woo! We have uh, Marvin Chong against Lim Wei Xiong. Yeah. Uh, What's Marvin Marvin, right Marvin is playing uh, what is Marvin playing? Control. Yo, yeah, okay. Played so against him in round two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you, how do you do in round two, Cass? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> so basically, we had to force a draw. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell the rest of the story, but it was a draw in round two, which is half of a death sentence. But for both half. of us, but it seems like Marvin's doing not bad. Yeah. You know? So par for the road then. So yeah, yeah you should have just gave him the win, man. Hey, man, but. Okay. If you gave him the win, he'd be in top 8 right now. Okay, Things let's, let's, would have been so okay, different. Let's be fair, Marvin, huh? if you watch this, uh, there was no way that we were, we were both playing to our outs. You had to deck me out, and I was never going to deck out. And neither were you going to beat me through infinite life. So the right thing to do is call a draw. Because both of us want to reach top 8. It's just that apparently you be, you're a better player. You made it to much <laughs> further than me so far. So, you know... Things just you know life is just like that right yeah. so uh, let's let's all right all right, right. so Marvin is on uh, Grix's control and Wei Xiong is on is Eldrazi on Eldrazi colorless Eldrazi colorless Eldrazi yeah, beatdown yeah with that ghost quarter uh, so Marvin just gonna start off uh, he doesn't know why he's playing against uh, but he starts off with ancestral visions followed up by seven visions and another ancestral visions. There uh, is a lot of card drawing. Yes, there's going to be a lot of card draw. Can he stop the onslaught that is Eldrazi? And here we got Eldrazi I Mimic. Th I think so the jig is up. I think on Wei Xiong's side, he's not really afraid of Marvin drawing a whole bunch of cards. Yeah. Because he still has to find answers for the, the Eldrazi. Reality anyway. smashers. And yeah. this thing. He has yeah. to find... Even have to find an answer for this 2-1. Two -one, little 2-1 two -one that's going to go beating in next turn. Serum Visions yeah. again. Going to draw I mean, a card. Set up his next two draws. I think if Marvin has a counter spell, he wouldn't want to counter or kill the Eldrazi Mimic. Yeah. Unless it's a boat because he can set up the mana leap for like, if he lays a, a Eldrazi Temple Ghost for not here. Oh yeah. yeah. So, uh, you gotta be wary of that. I'm surprised Wei Xiong is running, what, Ratchet Bombs in his He's running board? Corrupted Crossroads as well, guys. Holy smokes. And there we are, the first Eldrazi Temple. Uh, is he gonna play into... Endless one, uh, I think, yeah. If mana leak. I think you can play the endless one. Yep, so he does yep. indeed play the endless one. Is it going to get uh, leaked? It yeah, four, it's going to get leaked. leaked as expected. Uh, going to be in for two. Which is fine because you, you can't play around the leak anyway. Yeah, exactly. But you got to you gotta value your tunnels here a bit higher than the endless one. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, you can give up You can give up the endless one. It, at the end of the day, it's still a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so now do you just run out the Eldrazi? The, sorry, yes, the... Yes, so have uh, a Smasher. Smasher, yeah. No, he's going to nope, try to run out of Tonos here. Let's see here. whether his opponent has a reply to that. And of course he does. He's got oh. the... Um, yep, it's the Mana yep. League. Mana League. Bye-bye. I mean, it's fine. Uh, it's two Mana League out of um, yeah. possible four. four yep. yep. And but Marvin's already at 10. That's why uh, yep. Marvin's at 10 and he's going to be drawing And he's resolving the first cards. of the two in such a vision. If, mm, if I don't recall, he does play Angle of the Gods main board, but against Wei Xiong, it's not fantastic. What do you mean you have to recall? It's right here, oh, man. Hey, it's man. Right here. From memory, man. From memory. Uh, yeah. It wrecked you, right? It's like... I mean, when he casted it in game my, one, I was like... My kitchen fee! It's like, like uh, do you really hate my deck so much? <laughs> because I, I don't think it's never positioned now since, like, <coughs> at least online and SCG, there's a lot of Asban decks around. Abzan. Abzan. Ab Abzan, sorry. Asban. You, you and your Asban. Yep, yep, thing. that's right. Uh, actually, like the there were eight... Abzan 
decks in uh, at the World Championships this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. out of what? Out of twenty four. So that's a full players, third yeah. of the field. Well, if you guys like the casting and like to donate to me personally to change my deck from Arzban, Abzan Coco to the yeah, new. please do because yeah, yeah. you will stop mispronouncing Abzan. Yeah, we promise to put him on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah put don't him need on to me. I'll do it, man. I just need four Lilianas and <laughs> you know some other other stuff that. I can't so remember. what you're going to change it from Abzan to what Jan? I no, the, the and then you can start mispronouncing Jan as well, isn't it? Junk, Jun, oh. Jun, 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 Jun. Hey man, J U N. I like to play Jun. the Jun deck. And D is Jun. Yeah, man, come on, guys, English, English. Uh, uh when Dylan click going down, there's uh Al Jazi. Oh man, okay, so yeah, very good pick uh, there from uh when Dylan click. I do think he now that Marvin since he's at eight life, I think he needs to block yeah, some yeah. stuff. Definitely needs to block, but I think. Anything is good because you know mimics don't really. Ah, oh, dismember. Okay, yeah. so dismember going to. Go to sixteen. Yeah. Dismember. I think a uh, reality smasher or Thornos here closes the game off. Yeah. Uh. Well, that's in. That's if All Marvin right. doesn't have he any counters. Draw an answer here. Uh. <sighs> I think it's also be maybe my another mana league. Another mana league. He needs like to go more. land, board wipe, mana uh, and yeah, have a remand or mana league. Yeah. If he goes anger, he's enough for the third mana league. Correct, yeah, yeah. But that is literally like the best hand he can get. But it doesn't really un answer an untapped reality smash after that, I think. Yeah, yeah, it does if he has a like, counter spell in hand. Yeah, he really if he's got a remand or like a counter spell, Guys, I think they're really stop. good casters. I think we're like psychic. We called the anger of the gods, he really casted it. Oh, yeah! Yeah. We are living in the future. As Goblip Guy has told us, we are living we in the future. We don't know our own powers. What? Ratchet Bomb going down. Not <laughs> sure what the target for Ratchet Bomb would be though. Um, I don't... Well, he can just take it up. I think you'll be worried for... You'll be worried about... Um, what's that guy? The uh, uh, young plays? Pyromancer. Young oh, Pyromancer. he doesn't play Pyromancer main ball. I, if but I, you never know, man. Uh, he plays Tarsiga. He plays... I don't recall... Okay, so he can take out the Tarsiga. Yeah, I think after six turns of tapping. If I'm not wrong, <laughs> Marvin's kill con, kill con game one would be <laughs> creeping tapping. If I'm not wrong. Wow, only the I creeping don't remember him Casting any uh, any other big spells. Yes. Holy His shit. Okay, so he's got goblin dark dwellers. He's got tasigos. So two tasigos, two goblin dark dwellers, four snapcasters, and one vanillin click. Vanillin click we saw earlier died. So uh, this member. Yeah. yeah, so we have the Tassigurus and the Dark Dwellers and the Snapcasters remaining, but he's only on 7 life, so he's got to be very careful right now. Yeah, so it's a very precarious spot to be in, especially yeah. against a deck where every card he draws, Weishong draws, it might crack. be, yeah. It might be game ending, potentially game ending. So. It feels like a 1 for 1 every turn. Like you have to have that 1 for 1. Yeah. And but, but that's Greek Sis, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Hey man, I'm a greedy person. I like <laughs> to play collector company, but I only like to get one creature. I don't know why. Ryan, I, so Ryan fair. is our. Why are you so fair? Ryan is our resident expert at Grixis, though. Like you, you have been playing the. It's a terrible deck. Don't play it. <laughs> yeah, I, I reserve my comments. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm and not here we go. Oh, wow, he's going uh, to take he's away gonna lands. Take a, he's going to remove. Uh, take five away un cards to dwell. Take away spells yeah, that you don't want. Yeah, leave the lands inside. It's okay. Even the Vendillion Click, I don't think the Vendillion Click is any useful right now. You still want the... Uh Why does he take one damage though? I oh, he fetched. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, fetched. Right, right. And I think that's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Weishong, not really on the back foot yet. Yeah, he can relax. Yeah. For now, I mean, ev anytime you draw reality smasher is like a like do you have it like moment. <laughs> because you have a if, if you go down to one, you can't fetch your next land, and you're down to like a six land constraint. And Marvin can't even apply any pressure because, uh, yeah, if suddenly, so what, what yeah, if you have, have it, that's a it. very endless big one. endless one. For so he's gonna five. play for five. Okay, so he's gonna Actually, I will keep one more mana just in case that that third leak. Oh right, yeah, yeah, would you play around the, the third league? Yeah. I think that would be profitable to do. Yeah, because but I if you do if you don't cast it for five, then you're not matching up with the Tasigur. Although I think, I think it's fine the Tasigur can't attack yeah. at that point, right? Okay. Uh I mean I would rather keep that one mana have a four four. Because uh -huh. your opponent's Tasigur will likely not go on the offensive. And True. you basically keep him down such that uh anytime 
he has to decide whether he wants to cast a spell or activate Tarsier. And if he does attack, your 4 4 is still value. Yeah. Uh, casting Ability Smasher still goes in for like a whole bunch of damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, and Marvin goes to attack. Uh, yep, he, I think he has to. Looking no at his deck list, yeah. uh, I don't think there's any other way to deal damage or to no ensure Germa, the win. Uh, yeah, no Germa Anglers. Um, this one I'm, I'm really. I think he values Tarsiga more than Germa Angler, so he'd rather not delve too early, like have the possibility of drawing either Tarsiga or Germa Angler together. Mm -hmm. So he, he chooses Tarsiga over the Angler. This is a more late game uh, version of Grixis, right? Just uh, not, so yes. not as aggressive, not so tempo it based. Plays just plays pure control and cast like one creature and beat you down and never let you cast another spell. Okay, so you still got it, it got it has Kolagan's commands. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh K Command gonna get rid of the um Mutual Mirror Vault. Vault. Mirror Vault. Speaking of which. I think he could have just dealt two and maybe get rid of the the Ratchet Bomb. But I'm not too sure whether the Ratchet Bomb's any... I don't think the Ratchet Bomb way. really does anything right now. Yeah. Alright, so the second Ratchet Bomb we have is just going to leave it uh, there. Uh, well, plays, uh, Wei Chong is kind of on the back foot now because, you know, drawing lands like yeah. four turns in a row. Not fantastic. Uh, for any deck or any Usually player. Usually not good. Unless you're playing Sphinx Revelation or Secure the Waste like in the Proto. <laughs> then, you know, you're clearly very yeah, handsome. Easy, yeah. Then life is easy, you know. No, oh. I think Grixis, Grixis control is a very fair deck. Uh, so is Colors Eldrazi. But why would you play a fair deck, man? Like, you man, want to I, win. I know the deck I'm going to play if I had money. Ad nauseum. Man, the nightmares it caused me on Wednesday. <laughs> it's terrifying. That is a fair deck. That is not a fair deck. Exactly. Is no, that? a fair deck should be unfair. What? Because you want to win. Oh, that's kind of true. That's fair. And then both of you are playing unfair decks. Then that makes it fair. Mm. Mm, right? Wow, this looks pretty... Kind of Pretty uh, devastating. This, yeah, this looks bad. Place the I Dark Dweller to flash back the Colagon. I think he's going to make him discard and, and, and destroy, destroy the Retro bomb. bomb. Okay, sure, why not? Uh, swings for one. I do think seven. that he could have held the K command a bit longer. Uh, I I don't know. I, I don't think, and just I don't like think that, it matters Wishong anymore. Just like that, five. Uh, Wishong has only one draw step and that's it. Yeah, yep. he's just got this one so draw step. So what could you draw in this turn that could like, you know, Hadouken somebody? I can't fireball. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, fireball. <laughs> but then you have no red mana. So you magically have to get red mana as well. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Okay, so he's there going to There is a block. card. There is a surprise card if he, what? if he draws it. What might be the surprise card? If he draws dust. an oh. Eldrazi Obligator, oh, he can steal right. this game. Uh, yeah. That's true. Uh, can he still? Yeah, I think he, he can still cast, cast it. He's got the uh, he's got the temple, so he takes one life from. Oh, he doesn't even have to take a life, man. Uh, so sees his draw card I with the uh, Eldrazi accident. mimic. I still what? think the Kalogan's command was a bit overkill. Like you didn't need to reveal, like more intel than you needed, cause the Ratchet Bomb wouldn't have impacted the game. That's true, but uh, no, the Kalogan's command took out the Muta Vault. Oh, right, so the right. first time the Kologan's command took out a Muta Vault made him discard a card. So you wanna you wanna do that instead of get rid of the Ratchet Bomb because you wanna get some uh, Oh I seen the uh, second Kologan's command where he, he destroyed the Ratchet the Bomb and then he discarded the known Ratchet Bomb in his hand. Correct. Uh you well that's okay, I think that's fine. Uh, but yeah, you shouldn't be casting the Goblin Dark Dwellers, especially since you can win. Yeah. But the Goblin Dark Dwellers like just seals the deal in case uh Mar in case uh Wei Xiong has any other Blockers because you've already used up all your resources to make sure that uh, you know Wei Xiong doesn't have a play the next turn. Mm, so right. if he did draw a creature, he would not die. Yeah. Versus if you know the only thing that would save him at that point in time maybe a drowner of hope. Uh, both of which he. Both of which I think he doesn't he does run. Yeah. Oh, I see my favorite card in that Warping Whale. Warping Whale. Man, that yeah, card, I like that card a lot. That card like wrecks a lot. Eldritch Evolution so badly. Oh, oh so, so hard. So bad. So hard. Which is why we don't run Eldritch Evolution. No, but Whopping Whale is yeah, not being Eldritch used. Eldritch Evolution is kind of picking up in uh, popularity, I think. In modern, yeah. Over the usual... Court of Calling. Yeah, Court of Calling uh, like the company. company. Mm. Man, I watched Saffron Olive play uh, Eldritch Evolution with uh, Elosaurus. Elosaurus. Elosaurus Rider. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Elves, yeah. So it was an elves deck, which just happens to have uh, Eldritch Evolution. Dang. So it's hilarious. Like you, like one game he like wins with all the elves, 
<laughs> and then next game he like Alison Rider into uh into Eldritch Evolution. It's like yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. It sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> sounds kind of kinky, man. The kind of the kind of thing that you know. It's might a tilt super you. jank deck. It's a super super jank deck. Hey man, all I know is I I I want to write a deck list that can play deploy the gate watch, and play in some kind of Tron deck. That's all I want. No man, but you need I'm double white. The problem is you need double white. But you can play a white Tron. You can play white Tron, yeah. Yeah, it's got yeah. paths. It's got you can play board wipes. You can play Tron with white green and have still have ancient stirring. You might not have red. But you have ancient stirrings. You have double white for deploy gate watch. You can play Elspeth, Sun's Champion, Khan, uh, Ugin, Gideon. That's too Gideon. slow, man. Double white is just way too slow. Okay, you can get um. Nah. Nah. No. Nope. Hey, you need some way to filter off the mana to to get like white. I mean, you can play the usual Tron. Like all the stars and shit like. Yeah, that. you can play the stars and still you know, uh, try to get your Tron lens as what Tron deck does. Uh. But just that now you have a collector company. For Tron <laughs> Hey man 7 mana If you don't have it in your hand It's like drawing Instead of drawing 1 Khan I suppose we draw a Khan And a Ugin And that closes again Instantaneously Jeez Hey man Gotta go big Or go home That's right Oh man Just like the Hunter deck Ryan's playing <laughs> Go big or go home guys You have it You have go it Go to the face Alright so let's take a look At their sideboard Side Shall we um, Marvin here Playing the Grixis Control, Engineered Explosives, he's got 2, Dispel, 3, 2, Counter Squall, 2, Crypt Invasion, wow, 2, Kalitas, 3, Forminator Mage, and 1, is that Steadicaster. Hmm. I don't know what you bring in, like, I honestly. I think you might bought in Forminators. Maybe to get rid of the, because you saw some Tron lands, right? So maybe a Forminator Mage I mean, would be useful. I mean, it's just our Drowsy Temple as a turn 3 play. Uh, I don't know, I think it's... Yeah, but you're on the draw now, which yeah, is very quite, bad. It's yeah, slow. it's too slow. You be did strip it out of your hand before you do anything. Uh, I don't know. It is possible that, uh, as you can see, uh, Wisho has brought in his relic of progenitors. Yeah. Uh, probably against uh snap against both snap casters and uh GDD. goblin dark dwellers. Yep. GDDs. Um, GDD. He's also the, got got the option of going big. He's got a Ulamong and a Kozilek Holy and a Worldbreaker shit. in his sideboard. Along with the Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Does he play uh, any on the main board? Land count. Uh, he has none of those in his main board, okay. actually. So, Is he tra playing the Tron stuff? No, right? No, he's not. Uh, that was, he that was not. the other game, yeah. Yep. That was the last game. Uh, Tron Eldrazi. So if he foresees the game going long, uh, the big Eldrazi's could uh, help yeah. him take over. No, you know, honestly, the Grixis, Grixis control. You just need to see the new... The new hotness, the, which the is the new Ulamog, the take your turn thing. I think that'll be kind of the new Emraku. I mean, the new Emraku. Yeah. Steal your turn. You know, play out your exact your exact hand, and you know, go for a ball wipe in your hand. <laughs> I think that'll be pretty kinky. Uh, uh reality smash on turn three. Of course, why not? Clearly, five, five. Course, clearly yeah. a fair deck. Yeah, it's you know, used to be more fair though with uh with Eye of Ugin. Used to be very very fair. Yeah, really fair. Yeah. That's why they banned it. Too fair. <laughs> Too fair. I think this is a... Like this looks pretty bad The only Marvin. answer you have now is Dismember, but it's like a 2 for 1 and you take 4 life. Yeah. It's so, such a bad trade though. Well, you can just cast the Dismember for its normal mana cost. Yeah, but so. you're signaling to your opponent that there's nothing better in your hand that turn. <laughs> and as a Grixis control, I don't know if that's something you want that's to let your opponent know. True. Uh, Marvin here just passing the turn, not dropping a land. Um... Oh no no sorry he did drop a land. I think yes. Ma I think Wishon can play around the possible damnation even though Marvin doesn't play it. Like he can just attack with one reality smash yeah. turn. He doesn't have to worry about. Yeah. Uh, just keep you know. swinging with a yeah. threat and um, you know your opponent will have to get rid of it. Oh but chooses not to. He oh, has dread the ball. dread ball. Dread ball will he help to get rid of that. Still a two for one. Special. I think it's I think it's okay. Whopping wheel. Nope. Or Warping Wheel will blow this out of the water so Discuss the engineer explosives, which, well, I I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't. It's think good, right? I, I don't think the engineer yeah, explosives. I don't think it's is good. Great. Then. Yeah. Of course, but I mean the, the you know what's bad? You can kill in engineer explosives like Eldrazi mimic. Uh -huh. and, like what else? That's true. And you know what's good? 
What? Now then he draw the the warping wheel. <laughs> Damn it! Hey man. I thought it was a reality smasher, uh, and then I realized not every day is Sunday, but today is Sunday. But today is Sunday. Yeah, today is Sunday. He's got two dismembers though, which is kind of strange. Probably get to get rid of the uh, Tasigur. Yeah, yeah. Tasigur GDD. Because you don't want to be on the back foot blocking the GDD with two creatures. That's true. So I think it's fine. Taking a whole bunch of damage. Uh, no, that was from before. Yeah, I think. Still at seven, it means anytime. You, you, I mean, Wishong still has a lot of outs. The game can go pretty long. Of course, but if you keep yeah. drawing lands, Amen. it's not going to help you. Oh, and is there it? we see the caverns on Eldrazi. And the reason why it's so expensive in this matchup. Yep. <laughs> Vendelian click. Ja, just let it resolve. And kill yep. the Vendelian click later. Oh, Whopping Wheel. Okay. Oh, okay. Whopping Wheel! Would you have kept the Whopping Wheel in any other scenario though? No, nah, that's pretty good. No, no uh, that's fine, yeah. Because the dismembers, uh, the dis dismembers you can use for something else like Tassigos. I think they'll, it hits the Tassigos. Right now... So you uh, see his hand is just full of removal. Doesn't yeah. really do anything right now. Uh, unable to apply any sort of pressure. I mean, uh, nothing and, that... And giving Marvin enough time. Uh, but... At any time, if 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 Wei Xiong draws like another Smasher or one of his big boys, then Marvin's in a lot of trouble, man. Yeah. Marvin will be in a lot of trouble. Of course, but then you draw more lands, so. I mean, uh, I mean, it's magic. Uh, it's magic. Variance, variance happens. You, right? you can do all this. You can take a PhD in math and still not figure out how <laughs> oh, a land yeah. draws you another land. <laughs> uh, like we have Ben. Who's a very rational person? Have you explained to us mathematically? And we understand. No, we understand. Yeah, because there but are less cards. The shit still happens all the time. Yep. All that. Not time. even in Modo in yep. real life. Yep. Modo, this always happens for sure. You fetch a land, you draw a land. Uh, but no, you must have the intention that you must be thinning out your deck. So in your deep in your heart, you must tell yourself, okay, I'm going to fetch this land to draw another land, and then. I thin out my deck by one card. The probability is minute, but it's okay. So that I don't draw another land, but then you'll draw another land. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the difference. Because uh, mathematics. Yeah, because Math. mathematics, yeah. Because deep in the heart, you know, you are yeah. wishing for it to happen. And I think, I think this is okay. Uh, Marvin sees a Thorsis from a Serum Vision and another blue card. I don't think the Thorsis would be any useful. I think useful. I would kill the Thorsis. No, what, what's the point? Because, because if Wei Xiong gets... Anything, he's just gonna slam it down. That's it. Boom. Yeah, that's true. And if you thought, see, you put yourself down to five. Reality Smasher does insta kill you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I see a GDD in his hand. Yeah, uh, but of course he's not gonna. I don't uh, know. Uh, if I had enough mana, no, I, I guess you had to wait. You definitely had to wait to keep like a leak up mm. and cast like a GDD to apply pressure, because. Keeping your opponent at 20 for multiple turns and not casting threats, not ideal. And here either. we see. Yeah. Uh, Sid card, yeah. Sid card, reality smasher. Is that going to get countered? He's playing around the mana league, gonna swing in. I think I think you know what the best oracle text for reality smasher will be? Reality smash! Like <laughs> just you know, exclamation mark, smash your face. Isn't that what Hulk used to say in that uh, the Marvel yeah, Infinity Gem smash. game? Hulk smash? No? Yeah, no? Reality Smash? No, he does not Reality Smash. Oh, he just says Hulk Smash. I know he just like goes up in above the screen and gets a meteor and like just He wrecks gets you. a meteor, guys. He doesn't... He, ja he gets a meteor and then wrecks you. There you uh, Though, let's see what Marvin can play. I see a dis... Is that a dismember in his hand? No, it's a Kalitas. It's the Anger of Gods. Right. Uh, mm. Going down to six. If he takes this Reality Smasher hit, he's going down to one. It is not ideal, of course. I, I don't know. I guess you definitely want to. Is there something that you can cast right now? What does he have in the deck? Bolt, snap, bolt. Kologan's command. Okay, so he's got a Kologan's command. But that would be horrible because you're discounting a whole bunch of cards. Right? I know. But it's going to keep you alive. He has to do what yeah. he has to do. Kologan's command. I would, he's got a yeah. discard card. And brings back the GDD. Yep. I think that's GDD. okay. Uh, do you just activate the re the Relic of Progenitus right now? Just get rid of all the cards. With the boat in the graveyard anger? Yeah. I don't think so. I think you can hold out. 
Um, you know, your opponent hasn't played Snapcaster. You don't know. You don't know if he plays it because he didn't see it in game one. But you know, he played GDD, so the likelihood is play Snapcaster. He's playing Snapcaster, yeah. Uh, but the va the value from him casting GDD and getting a card back now is not so. It's not so not high, good, so you right, don't yeah. need to pop the relic. I think. I feel you don't have to pop it. Okay, so GDD gonna yep. go down. I think you. So pop I the think relic he's right gonna now. pop it here and draw a card. Kologan's command. Yeah, he need the Kologan command feels like a vital. Uh, role in this game. Yeah, it controls. Because he, he has so li little threat in his deck, so mm. he needs a uh, he needs to find attackers every yeah. other turn. So Seven visions there. Going to draw him. Uh, a boat, and there's an ancestral vision and something on. Ancestral vision seems a bit slow, but I think he needs to. He might need that eventually. I think you you definitely have to because your GDD is definitely not fast enough. Clock. You saw your opponent has double dismember in hand. Oh, wow. Okay, so okay. he da he puts it on the bottom. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we have it. Wow. And yes, off the That's top, it. the Woo! Adrazi Obligator so steals the GDD. Yeah, so that is the one card you were talking about. Yep. Adrazi Obligator. Obligate. There's that one out. Obligate uh, steals you. the game. Uh, so it's okay, we will reset the phone. Don't worry. Yeah, some people know how to use app school. Uh, All right, cool. Slowly. Okay, yeah. So you, you now we're on the game three. Uh, okay, we show tweaking his one uh, deck a bit. Oh, this is game three. I thought it was game. game uh, Marvin took game one. Marvin oh yeah, took yeah, game okay, one. right. Hey okay. man, I know we all fear El You have that the kick <laughs> in the back of mind that you know El Jazi usually. Get out of here. But that's not true anymore. That is. Uh, right. Anyway, um, our top eight has already been confirmed. Yeah. Oh, they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they even started playing, like everybody really? is like. No, there's some four, three, two people struggling to try and cut into the top eight. Some Were they? Going, yeah, yeah. Solomon, uh, a couple of them, uh, struggling through their way to hit top eight. Whereas I, you know. Oh no, 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 no. There's uh, I think only thirteen points. points. No, no. So, uh, the first four tables. Okay. Definitely. Had ID. minimum twelve points. Yep. So if they ID, they go up to 13 points. Mm -hmm. But this match right here, Marvin versus Wei Xiong. Uh, I believe Marvin is on 10 points. Okay. And Wei Xiong is on 9 points. So one of them is paired down. I forget, uh, I forget who. So right. the winner, if the 10-pointer wins, they go up to 13 points. And he's definitely locked in. And No, he's not definitely locked oh, in. Right. So... It all depends on your tie on the tiebreakers for the next four tables. The the sorry the table three and table three four, and four. Oh because right, they will right. be at thirteen points. So uh, these g you know the okay. So hopefully the ten pointer here will make it in. Yeah. Uh, but I forget who's who's oh, around ten points. Oh, one just got um. Oh no! Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Never mind, replace it, it with one of the... At least you call it now, uh, better than you know, having having your opponent call on the judge on you midway. Yeah. Oh, and it's on a serum vision. Hey man, I, I, never, liked, matter. I never really liked the, the FNM promo serum vision. Oh man, I mean, yeah. this, this, this isn't like PG-13. Yeah. It looks like the guy is getting calmed on, man. It's kind of gross. <laughs> and it's silver in colour, it's all, all liquidy. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of gross. I don't know. And the value is higher, you know. It just says something to me. Say uh, something about magic players, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I lonely, don't know. lonely bunch. It's shiny. Once again, I do not Same. like foily cards. Salmon visions. Uh, no, this is not Ban Eldrazi. It's just colorless Eldrazi. Yeah. It's colorless. Yes. It's kind of colorless. But it's mostly colorless. Uh, but yeah, of course, you have Kevin of Souls to make sure that your Eldrazi spells are not being. You, you cannot counter the Eldrazi spells. Yep. Uh, and that's what each piece each Cavens is how much now? 60, 70, 60 A bajillion dollars Kevin of Souls yeah. is one Yeah, too much They need to reprint that Why didn't they reprint that In Conspiracy 2? I Why you got to reprint My Birds of Paradise? Why you have to reprint my uh, Inquisitions? Yeah, Inquisitions Serum Vision Deceiver x My Semen Visions Hey man, Semen Visions Jeez. Uh, But I think Cavern of Souls will be reprinted in Modern Masters the next, mo next Modern Masters if there ever is yeah, yeah, like Speculation Next, 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 next year right? Whatever uh, One can only believe I'm over that Well we need to reprint we need to reprint stuff yeah, soon Yeah for sure We need to reprint a lot of stuff soon Anyway mm -hmm. if you're just joining us you are watching PPTQ Dublin here at Grey Ogre Games We're in round 6 My name is Mick I'm one of your hosts alongside Ryan Lowe What's up? And the beautiful Cass Ang. Mm, so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, it's hard for me to cast with you by my side because my heart's pounding. Any female viewers out there, don't worry, I'm single. Uh, <laughs> head down to the shop. 
in Singapore and maybe you can meet and have yeah. coffee. No, no, no. Continue to be single too. Oh, damn. That's, oh, that, that hurt, man. Oh. Hurt deep. <laughs> All right, it's so okay. I'm single too. So Marvin has uh, mouth six here. I think this is a crucial mouth. You don't have a lot, too many like lightning bolts in your hands. Oh, like Dragon Skull Summit. That's interesting. Oh, uh, relic. I, I don't know about the the relic. Yeah, the relic. I think the relic is, is relic is fine. Yeah. It keeps your opponent off uh, Tassigur early. And snap custom mages. Yeah, yeah snap custom mages as well. But I think in this matchup you don't want to cast Tassigur. In the I mean post war. Uh, yeah, especially since you saw the um the relic of progenitus earlier. But he doesn't have much. I in mean, terms you, of you threats, you can still play on. a slow game. If you control the board, you can just throw your burn spells in your opponent's face and go creeping tap, tap it. Yeah, but you're, you, you know, we saw in the last game he had to throw a lightning bolt and a Kologan's yeah. command at, uh, reality smash, at reality smasher. So that that didn't seem too much or and there too we much go, value. The pimp yeah. out the waste, the waste that you can only get in the intro packs, right? Can you imagine if you got foil one? I don't think they yeah, can. You cannot, card, yeah, they, you don't, don't, don't get, get it. Foil. Yeah, I don't sure think that's, get. that's a fake card then. But if you get a foil, man, that's All crazy. Right, let's see what Wei Xiong has in hand. Obligator, Shrine of Forsaken Gods. I think you take the. Uh, wow. uh, Thought Not Thought Seer, not. Matter Reshaper, Dismember, Odrazi Obligator. Okay, uh, so he can't cast. Shrine, and what's the other card? I, think, I believe there's two Matter Reshapers in his hand. Two? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the card oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the card has been blocked. So two Matter Reshapers. Ah uh, man, uh, this I don't is a think very you difficult hand to call. I really don't think you take the. Um, I think you take the matter reshaper, because you. I mean the Grixis. Uh, I mean Grixis control is price itself a one on one. Matter reshaper is gonna be a two for one, and you really right, yeah. want to have more two for ones. Yeah. I mean. So uh, just one less um matter reshaper, unless of course you got anger of the gods. Yeah. Uh, so if you have anger of the gods, that'll be a. But you wouldn't want to keep it. In, you wouldn't ha want to have a hand. Then we're looking at six and have anger of the gods. That's okay. I think you can control the board uh, up to that point. So maybe take away the uh, the thought knots yeah. here. So if he did take away the thought knots here, means uh, you know it telegraphs to or uh, informs Wei Xiong. Maybe he's got a board wipe in hand. Just maybe. Yeah. Uh, though matter reshaper is still good against a board wipe. Even That's if true. Anger, yeah. No, if anger of the gods. No, it yeah, goes yeah. exile. Uh, it does not hit the graveyard. So matter reshaper says when it dies, yeah, then you get right. to get the card. So. Anger of the Gods is very good against that. I remember is that, that a Dragon Claw? Talisman? Yes, I believe. No, wait. I don't believe so. Holy smokes. No, that's not. Um, is that Engineer Explosive? I believe that's Engineer Explosive. It's same as Red and Shiny. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's definitely not a Dragon's Claw. Uh, yeah, that would be weird. That would be really weird. Uh, but Engineer Explosive goes down for 3. I think this is fine. You don't need to play around it. Mm. And you, I mean, hopefully Wei Xiong doesn't whiff, and you yeah. get full value off of it because it's not anger. And I don't think Marvin can afford to take six every turn. No, nope. no, nope, yeah, he's definitely sure. gonna pop the explosives. I think you just want to lay a land, pop the, ex the pop the engineer explosive, and keep mana for like mana leak. I think. Uh yeah, or at least at least feign a mana leak. Yeah, so. So Marvin in a uh, very tight spot. Um, I mean, this is why I felt that taking not taking the Tornos here and taking one of the Matter Shaper seems to be better. I, I don't know. Uh, against this, when your opponent has two answers and you have no anger of the gods, and the opponent, the chances of your opponent whiffing on double Matter Shaper is you know it's not very high. Super low, yeah. Uh, I think well, taking one of the Matter Shaper from Thought Seas was probably a better choice. Yeah. At least the first one, right? But, uh, yes, thank you, Khan Father, for pointing that out. Dude, that's it a, is explosives. That's a cool name. Khan Father. Kalel. Listen to me. No, man. Wrong wrong show. <laughs> wrong show, bro. Damn it. Okay, the explosives going down. Uh, so land. he gets one land. He gets two wow, lands. Okay, wow, so time I mean, walk two turns. Uh, sure, I guess. Time walk two turns. Accelerate two turns. That is... I Man, mean, was, I, I doing guess, his job. I guess it's better than drawing them. At least now you know. Mm. But if you, I mean, if you're waiting, gotta be pretty disappointed because you know the like. Yeah, that just happened, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Warbreaker, of Breaker. course, just going to take out the uh, blue sauce, the only blue sauce, and this is on a cast, by the way. He's got Eldrazi Temple, 
So the uh, Shrine of Forsaken Gods does not have any, uh, does not tap for two colorless mana at this point, but he has an Eldrazi Temple which does tap for two colorless mana at this point. Marvin's only blue source. Uh, can it be countered? No, this doesn't have a cavern of souls. Nope. So if he wants to counter, no, nope. Oh, dude! By the way, Khan's father, awesome. Thanks for watching today, cause I can't go to a PBQ since you won last week. Congratulations, nice. Khan father! Sick brag. Nice one, man. What do, What do you play? Let us know in the comments, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, like to know what deck you are playing. Well, I think Marvin's even in a. Tighter spot now, cause you know the number. I think you have to three for one the world breaker if it's lightning bolts. Yeah. Uh, unless you draw a uh, ball, and I don't think this member kills it because it's a five seven, I believe. Yep, exactly. So, what does he have to get rid of it? Dread balls and that's it. Terminates dread balls. Terminates one dread ball, three terminates. Yeah, that's it, man. I do think that. I think if I'm Wei Xiong and I don't draw a land and I see my opponent cast Kalitas, I think. I'm go. pretty far here. Yeah. Uh, swinging for five, go down to nine. Uh, the clock set down on Marvin. We still I'm gonna have to take uh four points of damage. Yep. So it's fourteen on fifteen. He's gonna swing in. Does he swing in the muter ball as well? I think you probably seven do. Seven points of damage. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh okay. So oh, yeah. another metal reshaper. So this I is the third metal reshaper. I of still the game. think you go in with the muter ball. You Uta definitely want to get as much damage yep, as you can. Sure. Kapapao, pow. Seven points of damage. Swing for seven. Which means that Marvin is down to Marvin is yeah. uh, what? Uh, Dead next turn yeah. if he has it's a next nothing. Turn I think a handshake will probably go out because even if he even if he magically plays damnation, which he doesn't, because we know the deck list. Yeah. Uh, All right. There's no. Out. There it is. That's true. And no the outs and Wei Xiong takes the match Ooh. and. That is good. Might no, make no, top no, 8 on no, tiebreakers. Marvin, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that I didn't concede to you. <laughs> if not, you'll be somewhere higher. You uh, see? I'm so sorry. You see? Hey, he man. could have been on 12 points, man. Oh, so that means Marvin is on 10 points. Yeah. You see what you did? Hey, man. It was fair. Kaz, what did you do? Hey, man, it's a competitive RDL. You gotta, you gotta watch out for yourself, man. We both play to our outs. Oh, okay. Uh, can't father, of course, uh, play Tron. Pretty sure it's Tron. <laughs> I uh, think so. We, maybe. No, we ain't no rocket scientist, but I think it's Tron. I don't know. Can you change your nickname for Twitch? Uh, no, no, right? I don't, I don't think you can. Yeah, exactly. So, man, I hope you. I hope Tron doesn't get Dude, banned. Since you won the PBQ, can you do me a favor? Can you try and build a Tron with Deploy the Gear Watch? I, wanna, I would play that if you can, if you can build the deck. Would you like don't, don't do, do it, it to guys. his channel? Don't do it. Like, there was one guy who was like. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh? He he would play a certain card. He got he got a uh, ban for a while. Wow. He would play a certain card Is if somebody paid him some cash. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, I think two two years ago. That he would play at the PPT. This. He would play at the Pro Tour with a certain card and try to make it uh make it, yeah make it popular. Somebody paid him to do it. Wow. No way. But yeah. No, no. But way, get, way. But he, he got banned. banned for it? He got caught. He got banned. <laughs> but is is that a legitimate? I forget reason? who I forget who it was. We talked about it on the podcast before. But is that a le legitimate reason to get banned? Because uh, I that mean is that is uh, bribery. Oh, that's bribery. To yeah, play a certain card. No, no, no. <laughs> sort of. It's like sponsors. Uh, I don't know. Weird, right? Uh, you you could have masked it as like a sponsor. I don't know. I think on the judges' side, that's kind of flawed because if somebody pays you to try to get a card popular. You still have to make it popular. You still have to do well with it. That's uh, true. And it forces you to play that card. It might not be optimal. So I don't think it's a... Oh, no, 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 no. No. The briber the got guy, banned. Yeah, the briber got banned. Oh, sorry. Right, the right. briber got banned. Yeah, because uh, it doesn't make sense if the player gets banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The briber... Not the player. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. Uh, okay, so we are going to go for a short break before our top 8. I wonder... It's just going to be a top 8 playoff. I'm I not quite sure. I have a feeling there's uh, Chai Hui, which I lost the wrong one. Uh, RG, want to play. You want to play, right? I think he'll, they'll probably play. Uh, wait, wait. Is Faisal in the top eight? I have a feeling Faisal might be in top eight. Then we don't. Then we're going to play. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna see no split Faisal. We're gonna see some warring action going on. Like oh, yeah. no split, no split. No friends. split Faisal. Yeah, no split friends either. Yeah, we got a lot of. Uh, I mean, all our play groups are quite closely knitted. Uh, especially for the people who grind uh, PBDQs, GPs. Oh, yeah. So can you imagine you run to your friends like no split? We no. play on for the packs, man. <laughs> 
I think they'll split the packs, but uh, they'll play for the. It's an RPTQ invite. Hey, Come man, on. We wait until Jeffrey gets unbanned, then we start seeing. Like, we have to put it on stream. Maybe no. in the top 8 events, what we can do is uh, we put a small piece of paper there. So that when the top 8 players sit down and they decide not to split, they, they take out a piece of paper on top 8 players. <laughs> they put a number, they put a number on it <laughs> and they ship it over like to no Jeffrey's split. side. Oh man, <laughs> that, that's nasty. Jeffrey, I hope you're not watching. Alright, uh, okay, you, uh, you just actually, tuned in, yeah. I believe the standings, standings after round are 6 are out, so okay, we'll so be back shortly. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll do a small outro. You guys, maybe can take a short break. For, uh, uh, we're going to go for a short break, but before we go, just want to remind you that you can watch all our other casts. On Tuesday night, we have Standard. On Wednesday night, we have Modern. And if you like either one of those, you can tune in to either one of those days. And of course, if you like us, if you like Cass, then uh, you can Wednesday tune in. Yeah. Kimberlyn, you want to have Cass on more, right? It's just tongling, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just going to tease you forever about that. Man, that's nasty, man. Desmond, who has not played in like umpteen years, can still kick your ass in Magic. That is bad. Oh, wait, that first yeah, time that No, I gotta, I gotta comment off three. Man, that's <laughs> luck sack. He literally, <laughs> his Ban Coco used double declaration stone. The uh, possibility of him <laughs> untapping one more time into another declaration stone is like less than 20%. And he killed all my soldiers. But he children. still killed you. Yeah, and then... He, he has not played Magic wreck, for a good 10 wreck. years, man. No, he plays EDH, man. That's Magic. No, that's not Magic. Actually, what? no, I play in the H. Exactly. That is magic. Okay. Uh, right, remember, you can uh, follow us. Yeah, follow our Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Games. Follow our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Just type in there, Grey Ogre Games. Apparently, there's a lot of people out there called Grey Ogre Games. Really? Because I can't change the goddamn channel name. Thank you, YouTube. You are making life so hard for creators. There is no other channel called Grey Ogre Games, by the way. I'm pretty sure that if I make my YouTube channel called Cast Place, no one's got a fucking name. So, I'll be famous before Bad. you guys. Uh, last but not least, uh, you can tune in. Uh, you can tune in to our partners, Power9Podcast.com, myself and Alfian every week. We get together and we talk shop a little bit about magic. This week will probably be about spoilers and... Yep, and our show has just turned into like the spoiler, the mythic spoiler show. Hey man, the new three mana planes walker is incredible. It's okay. What? It's amazing. It's, it's okay. It can prote- It can protect itself. Anyway, we're gonna go for a short break. Don't go away. I'll put on a short replay while we decide what the top eight are going to do. See you guys. Ciao. <laughs>